Hi guys, I'm going to show you two bishop endings. So in this in this end game position, I'm we want to promote our pawn this way. But if we do that, now the bishop will sacrifice itself and when the king takes, it will be draw. So 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 we cannot do that. So I'm going to show you a way to promote our pawn. So, oh, the name of this concept is called interference so, or screening. So, so the first move is bishop f3 to go bishop c6 from stopping the bishop from d7. So bishop f3, then he has... He has no move but to wait, let's say bishop a4, and then we go bishop c6, and when bishop captures, king captures, and then king e8. Now, oh, if you don't know where I am, I'll show you now. So now he goes king e8. We don't want to go d7 because when king d8, then the only way to support the pawn is by going king d6. And it's stalemate. The king cannot move. So we don't want to do that. So we need to go king c7 from to stop the bishop from, to stop the king from going to d8 and then we can just promote our pawn so you may be asking how do you how can black draw this how can black draw this i'll give you a few seconds and you can feel for, feel free to pause the video for a longer think Now, the king needs to be on c c5. Why? Because, let's say we go for the interference. When we go for, when we go for bishop c6, he can just take, and it will be draw. So, the bishop has to be there. The bishop, the king has to be there. So the next position, it's black to play. So, but last last position, it's same colored bishops. Now it's opposite colored bishops. So the name of this concept is called one one diagonal principle principle. So basically, what this means is a, bi one, a bishop holding s several pawns in one diagonal. So, so White's plan is to go this way to attack the bishop, and then when our bishop moves away, we go c7. He wants to sacrifice. He wants to sacrifice. He's our bishop. He wants us to sacrifice our bishop for the for this pawn. And that then he may have a chance of winning. So we don't want to let that happen. So after king d4, king f6, king c5, king e7. King b5, king d8, and he's two moves late to get to king b7. And we can just move our bishop. If he goes back for the bishop, we just go back. And when he promotes the pawn, we can just pull, 
go back to F6 and stop the pawn and it will be draw. So, okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.